Good morning. Uh, tomorrow's 4th of July, so I want to get started on some potato salad. I boiled five pounds up at, well, just under five pounds because I didn't have the heart to peel this one. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm going to make two to maybe three different kinds of potato salad. I've got about two pounds in here, and in this bowl, I have chopped celery, half a cup, chopped uh, manzanilla stuffed olives, about a third a cup of that, and a half a cup of kosher dill pickles that I chopped up. So, in fact, here, let me switch. Into this, I'm also going to add, let's do this. Let's get a measure. Third a cup, chopped parsley. This is my every day potato salad. This is the one that I make when it's just us here at the house. But I'm going to make another kind. I'm going to make a, a classic one also. To this mix, because you want to get everything mixed in before you put it into the potato salad. That's a cup of this kind of mayonnaise. And then mustard. I like the country Dijon mustard. Uh, let's call it, this is half a teaspoon. No, this is a teaspoon. Let's call it two teaspoons. Yeah. Eh, two and a half, something like that. I'm going to add a little pepper. And I'm not going to add salt yet because when I boiled the potatoes, I put salt in the water. There goes everything. I put salt in the water. So I want to taste it with all of this. And the olives are, are really salty. And uh, the pickles are salty. So there. All that's mixed. Now I'm going to add, let's see, what would this measure be? About a teaspoon of chopped dill. Let me just, let me get everything in there. All right, cool. So that's what that looks like. Now here's where, uh, this is going to be your call. I'm going to add chopped purple onion, red onion. I don't call it red onion because it's not red, it's purple. I'm going to add a third of a cup mix now i can tell just by looking at that amount of potatoes and looking at that amount of mix that i'm probably going to need more mayonnaise but i'm not going to do it yet you can always add but you can't take away so let me add it first and Mix gently. My potatoes are not completely, completely cool. Uh, I don't never chill your potatoes and then mix them up because the flavor won't soak in. So my potatoes aren't completely, completely chilled, shall we say, cooled. Uh, Emeril Lagasse once did a cooking show and he poured his mayonnaise and everything into warm potatoes and he said the flavor really gets in blah 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 and I did it like that for a long time and he was right but I don't do that anymore because I'm just afraid that one day I'll get sick uh, it needs more see my daughter would look at that and go no it's good but that mayonnaise is gonna seep in so I need to add more now and I need to taste it too in my opinion, it needs more Dijon, country Dijon, whole grain, whatever you want to call this. Mix it in. I got to taste it. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. You're not going to believe me, but it doesn't need any salt. I'm telling you, if you salt your potatoes while they're boiling, you don't, you don't have to add anything. 
Now this is, I boiled 10 eggs and I chopped them. I'm not gonna use all of them because I'm saving some for the other potato salad. Um, I chop my eggs rough. I, I used to take the yellow center and chop it up and mince it real fine and put it in like that. But now I just want you to see the egg. So I, I do a rough chop because I want it to look, you know, homey, home style. And now that I've added the eggs, <laughs> yeah, I still need to add. For me, for me, you may not want that much. And it's not even a lot. It's just that I know that it's gonna seep in when it goes in the fridge to set, I just, I know it, so. There, it's done. That's, that's my every day. So, try it, I, man, you don't need to do much. That wasn't a lot of ingredients, but try it, you'll, you'll like it. So, I messed up. <laughs> Not in anything I mixed, but when I said that that was my everyday, it's not. That's the one I take places. But I meant to show you my everyday first, so that stayed in my head. I don't know how I kept repeating that. But I'll now that I've mentioned it, now I'll just show you what I do. My everyday, the one I do when it's just us and I don't want to mess with a lot of chopping, all I do is use mayonnaise whole grain or Dijon, it's usually this one, parsley, celery, and purple onion. That's it. That's, that's, if you just use these things right here and you use a good mayonnaise and good mustard, if you just do the parsley, purple onion, and celery, it's perfect. It's perfect. Sometimes I'll have dill, chopped dill, and I'll throw that in, but usually it's just that. So that's, that's my everyday. Now, I ruined it, so I'm not gonna make any. Now, I'm gonna make a Cajun potato salad. I'm gonna use the rest of the potatoes. I have a pound of medium-sized shrimp that I bought yesterday. I actually bought shrimp. I haven't bought shrimp in forever. We usually get it for free. But I'm gonna use the rest of the potatoes, about three pounds of it. And I have, well, you know what? Let me do this. Easier if I do this. That's the rest of the chopped egg. Use as much as you want. I've got two cups of mayo, and you can see the, the country Dijon mustard there. I'm gonna add to this celery. This, I'm not gonna use this whole thing. So I would say it's about half a cup, half a cup of celery. It might need more. But I don't want to use that much because I'm also going to get crunch from the bell pepper. I chopped up some bell pepper and let's say it's about half a cup. You can use red bell pepper if you have it or if you prefer the flavor of that, go for it. I'm going to add about a third cup, maybe more, of the purple onion. You may be wondering why I have it in a Ziploc bag. It's because the smell gets up in the air and in my eyes. So, there you go. And one other thing that I have in a Ziploc bag, chopped jalapeno. Maybe it's Tex-Mex. No, no, let's call it Cajun because I used bell pepper. I don't want to use too much because I don't know why I always think of my daughter, but I don't want her to say, it's too spicy. Not that she talks like that, but I just like to poke at her. I'm also going to add parsley, about a third of a cup, about two teaspoons of fresh dill. And I just realized that we're out of range. I'm sorry. In goes. I couldn't find crawfish. I could not find crawfish. So we're using shrimp. I should have said that when I was talking about the shrimp. So I'm gonna mix all that together first. Then we'll incorporate it with the potatoes. So you can see 
that. Mix all that up. And I'm just going to add pepper. I'm not going to add salt because, again, I added salt to the potatoes while they were boiling. So, there. That's what that looks like. Get all that mixed in first. Then, add to your potatoes. And get it mixed up and then you're going to taste it and tweak it add more salt if you know it shouldn't need salt but the one other thing i'm going to do to make it cajun is i'm going to add cajun seasoning use whichever that's what i'm going to use use whichever one you prefer but you know what I was going to only do half of it, just in case somebody doesn't like it. But they should like it. They've had it before. All right. We're going to mix this up, and I'll taste. Okay. This is the one I was just working on. I tasted it, and it was fine. I, I did not need to add any salt. No salt was added to this one or this one. Um, I just topped it with parsley, just, you know, to make it look pretty. I'm going to cover them up, stick them in the fridge for tomorrow. Uh, you might be wondering, well, why didn't you add pickles or olives to this one? Because uh, it's, it's the Cajun one. It's supposed to have all that flavor because it would have been too salty. I knew I was going to use uh, this seasoning. By the way, I added more of this, and that was it. And there's a lot of salt in this. So if i were to use this and the olives and the pickles it, it would have just been way too salty so uh the only seasoning that i added really was pepper all right there there it is i'm about to make my million dollar pasta salad stay tuned for that